Hey everyone, Evan here, and we're going to be doing some EFT tapping for toxic relationships. Now we're going to be trying to get specific for you because I think that's where this is most effective. But at the same time, that word toxic can mean many things. It can be from just generally unhealthy to actually unsafe. So I want to be mindful of that and give you a moment to kind of tune into, okay, what is the person, the situation I want to work with here? And what's the distance I need to put myself from that emotionally? You know, I don't recommend going right into very triggering events, but to be with something where, okay, I can think of this person, I can think of this situation, I can feel the discomfort, maybe the activation in my body. You can notice I'm already tapping here. But I can still be present enough with this in a video format and be able to work with it. So thinking of this person the situation. And I want to add that this can be a relationship that you're currently in, like you're still a partner or you're still in the dynamics, or it may have technically ended on some level, but it's still you still feel like the energetic connection. You still feel it uh, impacting and affecting you. So just tuning into whatever feels strongest but most appropriate for you right now. Now let's tap on this together. So starting on the side of the hand. Even though I'm in this relationship and it's not healthy for me, I choose to deeply and completely honor and accept myself. Even though I'm in this relationship and it's causing me some harm, some difficulty, maybe some fear, and I'm not in this relationship or got into it in the first place because I'm weak or bad and I don't deserve what's happening to me. But I found myself here and I choose to honor and accept myself and the situation I'm in right now so that I can move forward. And even though I'm involved in something toxic right now, there's a dynamic, there's a relationship with me and this person that's not serving me, that's not good for me. It may have been at one point, but it is clear to me now that the bad is outweighing the good. And I do want to honor myself for being able to perceive that now. And I choose to deeply and completely honor and accept myself and that this dynamic exists because through acceptance, I can move forward and get myself out if necessary. Now through the points, this relationship, this is toxic. This is not healthy for me. And I want to honor myself and my mind and body and spirit for being able to even see that. There are many situations where the denial runs deep, where it becomes possible to not even see that a situation is bad for me. But I'm seeing it, honoring the recognition and of course, that can be a little scary. If it was just a random person or an email I could just delete, that would be a little easier. But there's a relationship here. And I want to recognize 
it's extremely likely that there was some reason that relationship seemed appropriate or valid or important at the time. Maybe it was. So letting go of any beating myself up, saying, well, I never should have got here in the first place. I was wherever I was. They were wherever they were. Our energies met at the time. And there's now some form of relationship. It's okay that that happened. I'm not bad or wrong for this happening. But I see now that it's not good for me. And I'm feeling the fears around that. Fear of what might happen if I disconnect or try to. And I want to let myself know that I can find a safe way to do that. There is no rush. There is no one right or correct way. And everyone else is likely to have their opinions. But I am allowed to find what's right for me here. To find the ways I disconnect. The ways I create distance. The ways that feel safe and right for me. What may be necessary to minimize the drama or impact. I can give myself the space and the clarity to handle this in the way that's best for me. I'm recognizing all of the emotions that are coming up around this. There may be grief I give myself some benefit of the doubt that there was some good or some value, at least some perceived value at the time that connected this relationship. And maybe that's no longer here. And it's perfectly normal it's perfectly natural for some parts of me to want to hold on to that. To want to bring it back to what it was. Or what we imagined it was. That wants to say there must be another way. And we don't discredit those. We acknowledge those parts of us. We feel that emotion. We let ourselves feel all of it. Because if we try to shut it down, it's just going to make this more complicated. Allowing all the grief and doubt. Allowing myself to feel everything I'm feeling so that this can all process. That with the more complete picture, I can see the best way to move forward. Maybe it serves me to see the ways that this person is not healthy for me, or to see what they may be going through but only if that helps me. I am not required to try to understand everything they're going through. The fact that it is not healthy for me is enough. 
I am allowed to move forward with only that. It does not have to matter what their reasons are for behaving in the way that they are. I may be an empathetic person, but if this is not good for me, I have the right to move on for only that reason. That is enough. I deserve to have this agency over who is in my life. Not everyone deserves multiple chances. Maybe there have been multiple chances here. The point is, there is no way this is supposed to be. No matter what opinions others have, I am allowed to discover within me what I need, what is right for me to begin to energetically feel like it's safe and okay, to create more distance from this person. I can start energetically just with myself now. And those parts that want to hold on, they are not weak or wrong. I just honor them. I know it's tough, but this is for our best. And just gently moving forward with that. And then physically, what do I need to do? What's best for me to disconnect physically? Whatever that looks like for me, whatever pace feels right, whatever resources I need in terms of support or assistance from others, it's all okay. I am finding for me what I need to move forward from this. Because I absolutely deserve it. I absolutely deserve to have positive and healthy relationships. No matter what I did, no matter what they did, no matter what the circumstances were, no matter what they are now, I deserve this. It is my right to move forward. And it is my right to do so in the way that is right for me. Okay, take a nice deep breath. And checking in as you imagine this person, the situation, just seeing if it's any calmer, if there's any more space, any more kindness towards yourself, any more clarity. Because for me, what's important with this one is you get a little more clarity, a little more centeredness so that you can, again, not only feel a little better internally, but be able to see and perceive more clearly, okay, this is what really is best for me to move forward with this. Because like I said, everyone has their opinions. Oh, just cut that person out. Oh, you got to do this. Delete the phone number. <laughs> there can always be, uh, let's say, appropriate moves for a particular situation for your own dynamics. Maybe even things like, I don't know how that person's going to react if I just go cold like that. So you know what's best. Like I said, if you need additional resources, talk to your friends, talk to appropriate people in the right fields who can navigate that type of territory. I hope the EFT part of this supports you. If there's anything I can do on that front or emotional work that might help you, um, just leave it as a comment. Let me know any ways I can um, contribute to this further. You can check out my ebook below called You're Not a Repair Project because you're not, you're not broken. There's nothing wrong with you no matter how many toxic relationships you've been in. It's just 
There are patterns, there are things that we pick up on that are trying to protect us and keep us safe. That's what's happening here. You can learn more about that below and let me know how I can support you. All right, have a good rest of your day, night, week, month, year, and I hopefully I will see you before then. All right, take care.